Hey friends, this is Quest and Current, and today I wanted to talk to you about the dangers of USB-C to multi-USB-C ports, such as those two, which I think are the most common ones, where you have two USB sockets, one on the left and one on the right hand side, and a USB plug on the top. Uh, those are not the, the only types I've found. There are also, for example, cables that have one USB-C input and four or five uh, outputs, uh, mixed USB-C as well as micro USB. Um, the dangers about those are not really intuitive, so you cannot see them on the first glance. So I'm going to show you what I think they were originally supposed to be used with. And at least online when I saw the ad, um, they always showed a phone uh, to be connected like this. And then you connect the charger to your phone and your phone will start charging. And what you can now do at the same time, you can connect a second device to it. And I'm purposefully using just a little LED with the current limiting resistor because I definitely know what's going to happen and I don't want to break any of my expensive equipment. So I'm now connecting um, the LED in parallel to the phone. So both of them are actually now drawing power from a power supply here. And both of them are now supplied with the five volts from the regular USB-C output. This is perfectly fine. And there is no problem with something like this. The problem arises somewhere else. If your phone does not charge with the regular five volts, but it uses USB PD or USB power delivery um, to negotiate a different voltage than the standard five volts. This could, for example, be nine volts, 12 volts, 15, 18, 20, or nowadays even uh, 28 or 48 volts with a power of up to 240 watts if you draw a full five amps of current. And with this adapter, for example, the problem is that uh, if the device connected to the USB-C plug requests a different voltage than the five volts, this device is also going to see a different voltage. And I'm not going to show you this with my expensive phone because I still need that. So I've bought myself a USB-C um, PD trigger board. And this is a really simple board. Um, it even says USB-C PD trigger that has a USB-C as an input and this little um, integrated circuit, this little IC that can trigger different voltages from the power supply if it's capable of doing so. And then it just outputs the voltage um, to those terminals and the terminals I've connected to my trusty old multimeter so we can actually check the voltage um, it's outputting. And if I just plug it in, we can see it will start outputting five volts or at least roughly five volts. It's at 5.11 right now, which I consider perfectly fine. And also the little LED with current limiting resistor I, I built also thinks this is perfectly fine. The problem now arises if I start drawing or if I start requesting higher voltages because this LED is also going to see that. And um, let's see, nine volts, uh, you saw the LED got a bit brighter. Um, we're definitely running it over current, but um, it should still work fine. So it, it's not even getting warm, but I can trigger it once more 12 volts. That's now over double the voltage. The LED is um, built to work with, with this current limiting resistor. And what you can see is that the LED already starts getting noticeably dimmer. So if you have connected a device like this, and I'm going to request 20 volts now, just because I can, um, you can see, poof, that's it. The LED is just gone within minutes and ooh, 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 and also the current limiting resistor, as you saw, started to smoke. So um, I've now unplugged it. It's still outputting 20 volts. So the power supply didn't even realize that something was going on, but it was capable to fry my really simple uh, LED with resistor circuit but it could not only fry this, this cheap kind of circuit, but it could also cause some danger. For example, if I connect this to my Bluetooth speakers, they may just break. Or even worse, if I connect it to my power bank, um, it may burst up in flames because this power bank is not rated for an input higher than five volts. It says input five volts, output five volts. So if I, for example, connect it to the output of this USB-C splitter, 
while something is requesting more than five volts, this is a fire hazard. And that's why I would definitely not recommend using um, any kind of splitters like this or like this, where you can actually request voltages different than the regular five volts most of the devices are used to. With this, um, thanks for, for watching. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really helps out and we'll see each other next week. Thanks.